Okay, we want to look at the spreadsheets and we normally call that the Excel. Now, to start off with, we want to look at how we open uh, an Excel sheet. So you go to your start button, you click Excel and you open your Excel sheet like this. With that, we can simply say that we've opened an Excel sheet and we now want to, uh, this Excel sheet is also called a workbook because you can add a number of sheets and those sheets are called a worksheet. So we've opened a worksheet and the worksheet is found inside a workbook. Okay, now the, cell, the worksheet is divided into uh, rows and columns. So this is representing the columns while if I click on two here, it is also showing us the rows. Okay, again, if you look at the worksheet again, you also find the quick access uh, toolbar where we are saying that you can actually access it quickly by saving it, uh, saving your document and do your document and redo. And you can also find other options here. We also find the ribbon and remember we talked about maximizing and minimizing the ribbon by clicking Control F1 to minimize and maximize your ribbon. And we also find, of course, uh, the status bar uh, highlighted in green at the bottom here. Now, basically, we are saying that the Excel sheet is divided into on the home page, on the home uh, tab, we find uh, the font, the alignment, the number, the styles, the cells, editing, and privacy. So these are groups that we find on the home tab. Now, we've got other tabs that we find. We've got the file, we've got the insert tab, we've got the page layout, the formulas, the data, review, view, and PDF. So basically, we are saying those are the tabs that we find on are the excel sheet now we talked about the column and we are saying that we've got a number of columns to about approximately 16,000 columns and we've got um, uh, rows which are about 1 million rows so we are saying that that is uh, the uh, approximate number so where these rows and columns meet if we if i click on two here and I click on B here, where 2 and B meet is called a cell. So you can actually type whatever you want to type on the cell. So again, you also have, we also find what we call a formula bar. After typing inside the cell, the formula bar will display whatever I type inside the cell. And again, we have what we call a range. So if I click on a group of cells or a number of cells, it is called a range of cells now now if we, we, we are we want to look at again we talked about the workbook and we said we find a number of sheets inside the workbook and you can also rename by uh, just double clicking it and you rename uh, your 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 worksheet like this so I've given it a name student details like that so this is how you rename it or you can choose to highlight it, right click, and click rename. It's another way of renaming, and you now write maybe this data as the uh, name of your sheet. So basically, this is how you do that. Now, as you enter your data, maybe we are talking about the name. We want to talk about the name. We want to talk about the range number. We want to talk about the mark. May mark for assignment one. Mark for assignment two. And mark for assignment three plus final. Like this. So we are saying that this is how we enter data. And as we enter data, you can also change uh, the your title by clicking the font size font name Calibri. Maybe this time you want it to be a uh, Calibri light. If you want it to be Calibri light, if you want it to be Calibri body, you click Calibri and you change the font size. Since this is a heading, 
you then change the font size to 18 and you also broaden your uh, your headings and as you can see some of the text is now overlapping sort of overlapping into another cell so you can adjust it or correct it by clicking uh, on the top at the top of your column and you then drag like this to increase the column size you can do the same again to the next uh, uh, by clicking on C here and then dragging it to increase the column size like this so this is how you increase your column size So you further increase it so that the two is displayed. You do the same to the final column. Okay, so basically this is how we write the headings. Sometimes we need also to put borders to our column, to our heading. So I can actually click here to say insert a thick border like this. And if you want to name the heading or to define your heading, you can go to styles. Then you choose the heading of your choice. We want to uh, make it heading 2. So you can see this is now in heading 2 format. So basically, this is how you do it. And as you enter your data, maybe this is Rudo. If you want to move to the next uh, column, you click tab and you write uh, the rate number is 2118 and the mark is 45 like this so you click the tab to move to the next tab, to the next uh, column you click the tab bar as you click downwards you also click the enter bar or you can make use of the shift and down arrow to click it downwards and again you can also make use of the uh, left arrow shift and left arrow if you want to click to uh, the next uh, to the previous column so you simply click shift on your keyboard and click uh, the left arrow there so that is how you shift or you maneuver with the uh, the with your tab as well as your uh, the the shift key now we want to uh, move on to how do we uh, increase the column size we also talked about that and we said we highlight the column and we also increase it like this or we can uh, increase it by uh, making use of the format if we need a, a defined column width maybe we want all our cells to be size 15 so you click from format remember I clicked format here and you click column width and then you define the column width to be 15 and you click OK so this is how you click I, uh, you increase the column width the same applies to the uh, row size you can increase it by dragging it or you can increase it by uh, clicking this the, the row and go to format and go to the row height and then you change the row height from 15 to 20 like this and you click OK so this is how you increase the row size as well as uh, the uh, column a size so we want also to insert another row in on top of uh, the, our heading tool so I'm going to uh, in click right click uh, the first thing that I'll do is to highlight click on one and I'll click on the row and again I'll click insert and as you can see we now have another row and again I'm going to add another one again and I'll click insert like this. I'm going to write my heading inside. I want to write uh, the heading is students uh, course work marks like this. So this is about the students coursework mark. Uh, so I'm going to again edit here. So this is about the student coursework mark. Okay, if I undo, as you can see, there is a mistake here which I need to correct. You can do this by just clicking and correct here inside, or you can do it by editing on the formula bar. So there are two ways of correcting uh, your text. Now, uh, this is now my heading, and again, this is my heading. I want it to be heading one, so I'm going to go to styles and I will choose heading one and 
as you can see this is now my heading one and of course i can choose to bolden this uh, to bolden and to change it to black like this so this is now my new uh, excel sheet now now i want to enter uh, detail some details on the sheet so to do it quickly i'm just going to copy it from another worksheet now let's put back the column size before we forget okay and so i'm going to copy it from another excel sheet so that we do it first and i will paste it remember to copy we said we click ctrl c and ctrl v now we have uh, the student details now as you can see this is the, these are the names the range and the the marks so the first the next thing that i want to do is to look at the formulas now as we uh the excel sheet can be used as a calculator so if you as uh, as you write your formulas you need to start with the equal sign so i'm going to put an equal sign and to show that it can be used as a calculator i'm going to put equals to times two like this and as i enter you see the answer is four and if i click inside the cell the formula is displayed on the formula bar so this is we can say the excel sheet can be used as a calculator okay we want to find the total or the final mark of these students the final coursework marks so what we need to do is to put the, the uh, formula now the formula we are saying equals remember we said we started with equals and we say sum and then we put uh, the opening bracket like this then i'll click the first cell which is c4 and i'll put the plus sign i'll also click the next cell i put the plus sign and i'll also click the last cell and i close my bracket like this but this is i want to get the average as well so i'm going to divide this by three so and i enter so as you can see this is the average mark coursework mark of busi and i will do the auto fill to auto do the auto fill you click at the right co uh, down corner of your cell and then you drag like this and it will give you the average marks of all the students so again these marks are in uh, some of them are in decimal formats so we need also to convert that to uh, all numbers so i'm going to make use of the decrease value like this and these are now now all numbers so sometimes you might also need to add the values maybe to add dollar signs maybe if you are talking about currencies maybe this was 20 and this was uh 55 45 30 so i'm saying these were just random values uh so if i want to put the currents i can put the currents so as you can see if i'm talking about currents i'll then put the currents like this oh sorry this is uh i'm i'll just put the currents like this and as you can see this is now these are now the currents and you do the same to all of them so this is how you add the currents to your excel sheet okay i'm going to undo because i don't need the currents i was just explaining about that so we talked about the formulas and we also, to also talked about the auto fill so the one last thing that we need to do is to maybe last but not least we need to insert a, a chart or a bar graph so what i'm going to do now i'm going to first hide all the unwanted columns so i'm going to hide or by highlighting all the unwanted columns and i will click high right click and click hide like this so it, as you can see i'm left with the name and the final so now i want now to create using the data uh, i want to create to insert a chart so i want to use a, a bar graph so as you can see I have a bar graph with rudo with the maximum number max of max or the highest number of max and kuzi being the lowest student so you can actually uh change this by right clicking double clicking and you also change the color 
of your uh, sorry if you want to change the color you just uh, double click on rudo because rudo is a star student now we want to fill in the rudo with another color so we choose the color of our choice so rudo is going to be green so this is how you change the color and for kuzi we need kuzi to work hard so we are going to also give him a red color so that it's actually dangerous to be the lowest student so you can play around with your colors as you design your chart you can also make use of the data to create a pie chart again so if you highlight the data again or maybe before that you can also click inside the chart and maybe type uh, the text that you want as to you want to talk about a student details or student cortex marks so we are saying that this is how you enter you insert a chart and if you want to insert uh, a pie chart you can also highlight your data and you also insert and you click the pie chart of your choice if you want a 3d so let me drag it downwards so that you see so as you can see we've got busi rudo max hag siponoma or with different colors and if you want to then uh, uh change the color again you double click on uh is this uh max and then you go to colors if you want to change it to this blue you then change it to this blue and maybe for hag you want to change it to red you can change it by clicking and choosing the color of your choice like this so basically this is how we play around with the excel sheet and these are the basics that we need to know there are a lot of functions on the excel sheet but for now we've just uh, decided to learn on the major topics or the basic the basics of excel sheet now remember if you want to increase the font again you can click on zoom and you then choose the size font size of your choice and like this you can actually see the uh, your pie chart uh, properly so thank you very much for watching the video